What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the Team Leader CRM platform and its different features and benefits for your business. So Team Leader is a platform that has CRM or customer relationship management. You can create professional invoices, quotations, and projects. So it's an all-in-one platform that allows you to manage your customers, create professional invoices and send them to the customers, create quotations and manage your projects. So um, that way you keep you can keep your business all in one place. You can start here today for a free trial for 14 days free trial. And we are going to do so in a minute. So here you can see all the benefits. So for CRM, for example, you can manage the customer data and communications in one place, quickly find everything you need and save more time, get a practical overview of all the customer communications effortlessly, and link time trackings and get the right customers to contact you. And you can learn more about CRM here. Now for the second part, which is the invoices, you can create accurate invoices and get paid faster convert quotations into invoices and get paid by sending them to the customer. And as you can see in the screenshot here, create the invoice for the sum that you want and send it. Track the overdue payments automatically and avoid reminding customers yourself so the customers can get reminded automatically. You can send invoices to the accountant automatically. So you can learn more about invoices as well. Now for the third part, which is quotations. As you can see here, you can produce compelling quotations to sell more. Customers can quickly sign to your quotations online. You can create quotations using your own logo, colors, and font. So with the identity of your brand, you can easily track the status of your quotations and you can learn more as well. Now for the final part is projects. You can manage projects and increase your profits. Easily convert approved quotations to projects. You can plan your work, let your employees do what they do best. You can create invoices for your hard work with just a few clicks. And by scrolling down, you can see here some other benefits of the platform. Now, let's take a look at the pricing pretty quickly before we see the sign up process. So if I click on pricing here, as you can see here, you have three plans, the smart plan and the grow and the flow plan. Of course, these are per uh, year. If you plan to pay per quarter or per like three months, the price of course will change. So the smart plan is for 40 Five dollars per month and the grow plan is 58 and a half dollars per month and the flow plan is for 74 25 dollars per month now you can see here you get a comparison a full comparison of the benefits and features of each plan to see which one is best suited for your business now these plans are for invoicing and for two users of course if you increase the number of users as you can see the price increase now for the uh, project management or for the team leader focus account you get here the project management booster, the lead capture booster, and the work order boosted. And here the benefits and prices for each plan as well. And finally, you get the shared inbox booster and the planning booster. So these are all add-ons and plans that you can use as well. Now let's start our free trial here. Start today. You can sign up with Google, Apple, or Microsoft or with email and password. So I'm going to add my email and password pretty quickly here. And after a very easy, straightforward and fast sign up process, I'm finally redirected here to my main dashboard on Team Leader. So uh, first of all, here I'm on the get started page where they give me like the tasks needed or the steps needed to finish my account. I already created my account. I need to invite a team member or team members in order to create my team, add potential customers, add my first quotation. I already uh, tried creating my first project just uh, was experimenting and I will show you how to do it. I already tried to track like a couple of seconds of time and I also show you how to do this and I need to create my first invoice. So here I have more to discover about how to improve my sales process, manage projects and follow up on payments. Next, I have the contact forms where I can create contact forms right here. I need to go to the lead capture booster in order to create a contact form. So let's try to do so. Open contact forms. And in here, I'm rejected to the lead capture booster where I can view my dashboard, scheduling, meeting rooms, contact widgets, and the contact forms. So I already was messing around, experimenting, and I created like a sample form right here. So let's delete it and restart the process from scratch. Okay, click on get started once again. And in the forms here, add the form name, so test. And here I can create a new contact, create new company, 
create a new deal once the form is filled. So once the form is filled and I gather the contact details, I create a new contact with these details or with the details that the contact entered. And the basic questions that are added by default are the first name, last name, and email. So it's like a uh, contact information gathering form. I can add questions. So for example, if I want to add or gather their phone number, so the question should be, for example, phone number or mobile number, let's say mobile number. Okay. And the type I can add here, phone number, yes or no question and others. So it's a phone number type. And here is a preview. I can have it as required and save question. Okay. I need to link answer to team leader focus first. So uh, here contact phone. Okay, save. And I can add another question. For example, are you satisfied with our service? And the type is yes or no question in this case. And the link answer, for example, is the contact background information. Okay, save question. And now it's added. Now I hear I can customize my form, edit like the uh, title font, the title size. So here, for example, if I change the font, all the changes are made in this preview page like instantly. And here the title size, okay, make it smaller or bigger. The title color, let's make it red, for example, the body, uh, font for the body. And as you can see here, the font will change. The size for the body, I can make it a bit larger. Let's say, for example, 20 instead of 14. Text color, let's make it red. The background color, let's make it, for example, violet, okay, or purple. Font color, or the form color, sorry, form color, background, let's make it green. Of course, this doesn't look good, but I'm just showing you the uh, changes that we can make or the control that we have. The button, the send button, I can uh, control the button color, dark purple, button text, I can make it, for example, black. And now I can save the contact form. Of course, you can uh, here go to contact forms or share your form. Okay, let's go to contact form. And here I have a new form that is created. Now let's go back to my main dashboard. We have calendar next, which I can and where I can view all my tasks and or my uh, like deals right here, uh, marked with date. I can view a daily view where I can view all my tasks uh, due in this date, a week view to get a better view of how my week is and a monthly view. Okay. And I can view all the tasks that are, uh, like related to myself and, uh, assigned to other team members. And I can even export the calendar with all the tasks right here. Next, we have companies where I can add company right here or view all my companies that I work with and I can import them from a CSV or Excel sheet. And I can even manually add a company. As I told you, add all the company information, company name, email, website, num phone number, and everything to create the company. Next, I have contacts. And again, I can import contacts from a CSV or Excel sheet, or I can explore new contact forms. I can add even a contact manually. Again, adding all their details, their name, last name, citation, email, website, phone, and other data. Okay, cancel. And here I have the deals. I can view my pipeline here or my stages of my the stages of my pipeline into lists. And I can add a deal right here or export my deals. So if I click on add deal, I can edit the or add a title, add the customer that is related to this deal assigned to myself or other team members, source, amount in uh, like dollars, currency, pipeline, and others to in order to add the deal and move it around between these stages. So here I have new, contacted, meeting scheduled, all the way to accepted or refused. So the end of the deal. And here I have quotations. And again, I can add a new quotation manually, adding all the quotation details, and then saving it and add description and saving it. Okay, let's close it for now. And next I have projects where I can add or create all my projects. I can view all my projects or add a new project, create a new project right here. Of course, adding the project name, assign it to a person, 
add group, add task to the project and everything. Next, I have planning and I can view all my task plan tasks here for the week or for two weeks, three weeks and view all the tasks across this uh, like spam, this time spam. So it's pretty cool. And then invoices where I can view all my invoices or I can create a new invoice here and I can view the unbuild time for the invoices. So if I click on add invoice, I can add an invoice manually, add the customer, add the currency, the project, the of course the description, the unit price, the quantity and everything. Next, we have uh, products where I can add all my products or import products again from a CSV or Excel sheet. I have time sheets where I can view all my times that are like spent to dealing with my task. And as you notice here at the top, I have a timer so I can start it to uh, like keep track of the time I spent on a task. So as you can see here, I have uh, spent a minute. That's when I told you I was messing around and tried using the timer. So if I stop it right here, as you can see here, the, there are two full minutes or two uh, like times that I or two minutes that I spent uh, like working on my tasks. So here next I have insights where I can view all my insights and all my uh, statistics. And finally, I have the settings where I can view and change all the project settings or all the settings related to my account. So that was pretty much it. A quick overview of the team leader CRM and project management platform and its different features and benefits for your business.